One very practical way of using parameters is in globals. So Racket actually uses it extensively in their standard library. There are things like accessing the command line parameters, defining the standard output stream, and also configuring formatting options. So basically, if you want to control something about the environment or the context of execution, you are probably going to be using parameters. Now let me show you a, few, a simple example where I want to control where I'm going to print. Rather than printing to screen, to display, I just wanted to write an example. It redirects the standard output to actually string. How could I achieve that in Racket using print? First, I need to introduce you output port. So ports are essentially if you've ever used Java is going to output stream. Basically it, it's I guess the value or thing that represents standard output. In C it's just a file descriptor. Bracket is known as port. So current output port represents the output that how could I use it? Well we've seen uh, printf printf by default writes to standard output f printf I can actually specify the file the port if I do port and I do foo print out oh. now if I define uh, I define a like a string I want to write to I want to use a string as if it were a file and create an output port string we call that the buffer if i want to write to the buffer i can do so that what is what this line is going to be doing is going to be writing foo to my string buffer now if i want to get the contents out of that i output okay so i got foo back used fprint to write to a buffer but alternatively since now I know about parameters I could just follows find the buffer as I had before and instead of writing foo with fprint I could just create a parameterize I could parameterize the standard output to be set to buff variable we find and inside I want to write hello world I use display as usual now if I get the contents of that buffer you will see is that I got hello world the display as you know writes to the screen but what I did was I set the standard output to be the variable that I just defined and then because I did a display, it actually redirected to buff rather than. That's basically how you can use something from the standard library. So in summary, this is how you use a, a, stand, uh, a parameter and it is used in the standard library to configure many things about your operating system configuration of record runtime and in the next video we're going to study how to use parameters to write more testable code